the customer complains about a rattling noise when the engine is cold. The diagnosis is timing chain stretch. The standard procedure in the past was to replace the chain adjuster and the timing chain. There's a cost-effective test method for the 1.2 and 1.4 litre TFSI engine EA111. The procedure is demonstrated here for the 1.4 litre TFSI engine as an example. Bring the engine oil to a temperature of at least 40 degrees Celsius. Remove the front right wheel and the right wheel arch lining. Remove the air filter body. Detach the coolant pipe in front of the camshaft covers and push it to one side and remove the two sealing caps on the transmission side as per the repair manual. Caution! New sealing rings must be used for reassembly. Detach the charge air pipe and move it to the side. Slacken and take off the poly V belt. The T10550-1 template is carefully inserted into the camshaft body. To do so, the crankshaft must be rotated in the direction of the engine rotation until the template clicks in and locks the exhaust camshaft in place. Secure the template with a screw. Screw the T10550-2 centering screw into the oil sump and align it. Position the dial with scale T10550-3 on the belt pulley and align to the centering tip. Caution! The dial must not touch the oil sump or the centering pin. Set the electronic torque wrench VAS6583 to continuous display and attach it to the crankshafts with a 21 spline nut. Turn it clockwise to the right and stop at 40 Newton meters. Set the scale to zero. Then turn the torque wrench anti-clockwise to the left and also stop at 40 Newton meters. Read the value off the scale and write it down. If the scale value is 28 degrees or less, the timing chain is OK. If the scale value is more than 28 degrees, the chain has stretched and must be replaced. In the 1.2 litre TFSI engine, use the T10414 standard tool to lock the exhaust camshaft in place. To set the correct distance to the oil sump, the T10550-4 spacer or adapter disc must be inserted into the scale sleeve. Caution! Different limit values apply here. The timing chain is OK at scale values of 26 degrees and below. If the scale value is more than 26 degrees, the chain has stretched and must be replaced. The chain must always be replaced if there's chain skip during the measurement. You require the following to measure the chain length for the 1.4 litre TFSI engine EA111. Stencil T10550-1. Centering pin T10550-2. Dial with scale T10550-3. Electronic torque wrench VAS6583. You require the following to measure the chain length for the 1.2 litre TFSI engine EA111. Standard tool T10414 to lock the camshaft. Centering pin T10550-2. Dial with scale T10550-3. Adapter disc T10550-4. 
Electronic Torque Wrench VAS 6583.